Welcome to the fascinating world of grammar, where words dance in an elegant ballet of communication. Today we're delving into the dynamic duo of active and passive voices. In the active voice, the subject performs the action. The cat chased the mouse. See how the cat, the subject, is doing the chasing? That's active voice for you. Now let's flip the script. Enter the passive voice, where the subject is acted upon by the verb. The mouse was chased by the cat. Here, the mouse is the subject, but it's not doing any of the chasing, it's being chased. That's your passive voice. Active voice keeps your sentences direct and dynamic, while passive voice adds a layer of complexity and can be used to emphasize different parts of the sentence. Remember, neither is better or worse, they're just tools in your language toolbox. Use them wisely to craft your perfect sentence. And that's your short, sweet lesson on active and passive voices. Keep dancing with words and see where the rhythm of language takes you.